Welcome to the Biological Life Sciences channel. Today we are going to discuss RNA as a genetic material, how the RNA is discovered. Ribonucleic acid RNA is a polymer of molecule essential in various biological roles such as coding, decoding, regulations and expressions of gene. Some organisms do have RNA as genetic material. There are some viruses which have viral RNA as genetic material. These are called riboviruses. They may be single stranded RNA or double stranded RNA and it is covered by proteinic coat. In humans also, there are various diseases that are caused by RNA viruses. Few examples are severe acquired respiratory syndrome, influenza, hepatitis C, measles, mumps and rabies. Ross sarcoma virus is a cancer causing virus and HIV causes AIDS. These both are retroviruses that is based on reverse transcription for DNA synthesis in the host cell. Let's see few examples of plant viruses. Tobacco mosaic virus is a plant virus which was first time crystallized by Stanley in 1935 and it causes tobacco mosaic disease. It also causes the same disease in snapdragon and marigold plant also. There are other two viruses also that is papaya ring spot virus and potato leaf roll virus. These are the few examples of plant viruses. So now let's see some prominent examples. HIV and hepatitis C are both human viruses that is having RNA as their genetic material. The TMV structure is having a RNA, single stranded RNA as its genetic material. So let's see what were the evidences that were in the favor of RNA as a genetic material. We can see this is the structure of TMV virus which is having a proteinic coat outside and a single stranded RNA. The first evidence that RNA also has a capacity to carry genetic information came from the experiments with tobacco mosaic virus. This virus does not contain any DNA. It is having only 6% RNA and is surrounded by a hollow cylindrical proteinic subunit as shown in the figure. There were major two experiments that suggested that RNA can also act as a genetic material. The first one is A. Gregor and G. Schramm in 1956. When they purified tobacco plant with purified RNA and isolated TMV lesions appeared on the healthy leaf of plant. They isolated the TMV from the plants and they were able to separate it into proteins and RNA. The next experiment was, experiment was conducted by H. Frankel Contracts and Singer in California showing that RNA is a genetic material in this virus. Let's see the first experiment. First of all, Gregor and Schramm first of all they developed the technique to separate the RNA and virus in the lab. Later, they used RNA and protein separately in different tests to check its infectivity to the tobacco plant. And RNA alone was able to cause the infection. But still here, we were not able to say that RNA acted as a genetic material. Let's see the experiments in details. Here we can see the TMV full TMV particle along with the protein layer and the single stranded RNA is infected to the tobacco plant and the infection is there and the plant develops the disease. But they separated this assembly into proteins and RNA. Proteins were rubbed with the leaves but there was no infection. The RNA was rubbed with the leaves and there was infection. Again when this were reconstructed into TMV, again there was infection. But they were not able to tell exactly that it's RNA that is causing the infection, which was confirmed by the next experiment that is Frankel contract and Singer experiment. They took two strains of TMV that is strain A and strain B. Out of these two strains, strain A is the infectious virulent strain which causes the tobacco mosaic disease, whereas strain B is not able to cause the disease as it is mutated one. The RNAs from protein coats and the genetic material is first of all separated and they are reconstituted into hybrids means RNA of first virus and protein of second virus RNA of second virus and vice versa as shown in the figure here we can see type A strain that is a virulent strain of TMV type B strain that is mutated one which is not able to cause the disease the protein and RNA of both of them are separated and RNA of protein A is taken and protein 
of protein B or TMV B was taken and this virus was reconstructed. When this was infected onto the leaf, the progeny that were found in this disease was of progeny type A. Means protein was not responsible for the disease, it was the RNA that caused the disease in this plant even if we use the protein from a different virus. This showed that RNA is acting as a genetic material in tobacco plant. The TMV progeny isolated from the disease showed parental RNA only that is from type A but not parental protein. This proved the evidence that RNA carries the information for the assembly of viral particles and not the proteins as the RNA was able to form the proteins of the virus in the next progenies. I hope you learned the experiment and understood. Thus, RNA was declared as a genetic material in tobacco mosaic virus. Thank you so much. If you like the video, share, comment and subscribe. Press the bell icon for the further videos.